What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Listen, um, <laughs> last episode we could only use 96s. 96 overall in every position of the team. We're taking lemon juice shots today, and I'm not excited about it. Man, this thing is straight out of the refrigerator that I use regularly. We got a shot, I got an actual shot glass this time, but here's how we're gonna do this. This is actually the second time we've had to do this on Wager Wheel. The first time I just took a bunch of shots at the beginning before the game. Today, it's gonna be in-game challenge based. So we are gonna spin the bounty wheel today, but then on top of the bounty wheel, we're also gonna have to do lemon juice shots for every time pretty much I mess up. All right, so here's how this is gonna go. We are gonna take one lemon juice shot every time I give up a home run, first and foremost. Every time I strike out with a runner in scoring position, I have to take a shot. If I leave a runner in scoring position in an inning where I don't score, then I have to take a shot. Now, if I have an RBI double and then that guy that doubled, I leave him in scoring position, I'm not gonna do it in that case. So I already scored a run. It's a rally and at that point, but if I get a runner in scoring position, then I leave him there and I don't score in the inning, we take a shot. And then of course, if I lose the game, we'll take one at the very end. Let's have some fun. Let's spin the bounty wheel to see what we gotta do in game along with the wager wheel shots. See what we gotta do mission wise in the game and then we'll spin, build the squad. And if you're new here, you can go watch wager wheel. There's a playlist on the channel. Get yourself caught up, see how we do things. But the best way to get caught up is just watch it out. We're about to build the squad right now by spinning a wheel. All right, the bounty for today. What do we gotta do? What do we gotta do? We have to win the game, of course. But on top of that, I can, oh, I have to win by two or more. That was almost really bad. Okay, so we gotta take some shots. We gotta win the game. We gotta win by two or more. We cannot win the game by one. It's kind of an easy win. We almost had to throw only off speed. We're on legend. That would suck. Look at the team from the last episode. Like I said, we could only use 96 overall all cards it turned out pretty good we hit the ball solid just had that one really bad eighth inning in that game man i don't even know what to say about it we had two great swings back to back with uh, i believe it was jorge polanco off the bench and then mike trout just couldn't come through that's baseball sometimes today let's try and match this squad for not having any 99 overalls that was a good team we're gonna start behind the plate and spin at the catcher position who do we got behind the plate today? Our first land? There's no shot we're out of position at catcher in this game. Come on. Oh, we're gonna have to keep that in mind for secondaries in this game. Out of position. Is there anyone that would have like decent catching back there? Oh no, it's all like under 10. Their fielding is a nine or less everywhere. This is not good. Well, um, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and use someone that's at least well-rounded. Switch hitter? Not gonna go with Mickey Mantle. I could have, I could go with Mickey Mantle. Do we go with Mickey Mantle? Okay, I guess we're going with Mickey Mantle. I, I, oh, <laughs> uh, that's the worst spot you could possibly be out of position. We're going to first base. This is not good. This is, this is incredibly bad. A program player at first. The 96 overall MVP Willie Stargell card. He was a player program um, from the seventh inning program. Him and Joe Carter were the player programs from them. So we'll throw the 96 Willie Stargell on the team. Now over to second base. I've thought about, I thought about using him at uh, uh, first base in that last episode, but I did not. Over to second. We had Marcus Simeon in the last one. He went yard, might I add, at second base, and this one's gonna be a silver. We're off to a slow start. I'm gonna take David Fletcher here. He's just a really good fielder. At least I know I'm getting that out of him. He's got one-on-one -on -one contact versus left, so if there's some savage lefty on the mound, he'll have a solid PCI size as well. But really just taking him for the defense. We'll get him flexed out at some point in the middle innings of this game. Over to shortstop. Shortstop. So it'd be nice to have some extra eligibility at middle infield on this team. A Dominican Republic representative at shortstop. We should have some options. How about that man, Wander Franco? The switch hitting phenom shortstop for the Rays' future stars card. Diamond defense, 84 speed, 117, 105 contact, know all about it. Everyone was hyped about this card. Before they even released this card, they released a 99 version of him for a limited time that everyone had for free for a couple of days. People were nuts about that. This card's really, really good. This is a good land. Stud, stud, he'll go on short. Now third base, playing the hot corner. That was a good land for Wander Franco. He's a beast. 
an absolute beast. On third, an MVP card. Another, another chance to use Chipper Jones, because why not? Yep, gotta do it. I mean, switcher, in this situation with how things have played out, I need that option there, I need it. So we're gonna go out to left, Chipper Jones is on third, Wander on short, back-to-back -back switch hitters. We have three switch hitters in the lineup at this point. And left, we get to go 99. A choice on the 99s in left field. I'm gonna take Tyler O'Neill. Someone, I think we've used him once or twice before on Wager Wheel. He has homered in one game. I'm not sure if he played a second game or not, but the last time we had him, he did homer. And right now, with all these switch hitters, we have Luis Sarjo, a lefty on first base. He also has great defense and 99 speed. So we'll take that lightning Tyler O'Neill for left field. Now moving on to center field. Good spot right there. The lineup is shaping up well, even with David Fletcher. We're probably gonna have to score a few more runs than we usually would have to with that uh, runner behind the plate. All right, so we have to use someone who both bats and throws left-handed in center field. Here's a spot I've never landed on before. Jared Kelnick is one who bats and throws lefty. There's a good option for us out there. Uh, Brandon Nimmo throws right-handed. Duke Snyder throws right-handed. Ken Griffey Jr. is a lefty-lefty option. That's a new card. People would love to see that one. Uh, I gotta go with that. We gotta go with the kid. I mean, the his jersey's behind me in every video. We gotta rock the kid. Lefty-lefty in center. Oh, I just accidentally spun it while I was dropping my phone. We'll just rock with it. Out in right field, we get to use a live series. And once again, with the with this is kind of a bad land. I know a diamond card is a diamond card, but I mean, come on, look at those hitting. I know it's Mookie Betts, but look at those hitting stats compared to the other 95 to 99 overall cards in the end. It's a gigantic gap. Just like there's a gap between low 99s and high 99s. It just doesn't really keep up. I am gonna take this card for the defense though. He's gonna be phenomenal for us defensively on right field. And that's what I'm looking for from him and David Fletcher. And then we get one spin to decide the bench. So let's go ahead, spin for the bench. And hopefully, we have some solid defensive replacement options for later in this game, particularly behind the plate. We are gonna get to do revolution for the bench. So no matter what team we land on, that's the team that we have to use for our bench. It'll be one team. As usual, I'd like to shout out my guy Coogs, as always, for inspiring this spot on the wheel, his revolution series, goaded MLB The Show history book stuff, uh, where he used to build his whole team like this. But we are gonna spin the wheel one time, and this will decide the team where we can use any player from that squad for the bench, and it's gonna be Phillies, let's go! All right, so our options to flex out both Mookie Becks and David Fletcher, if need be, are available there. We have Jimmy Rollins, he can go to shortstop, whereas Wander Franco, he could slide over to second. If need be, Brad Miller's a guy who could play a ton of different positions with second base as his primary. JT Romuto will be the guy we can slot in behind the plate, and then we could always bounce Mickey Mantle out to the outfit for Mookie Betts to put JT Romuto back there. Jim Madmins and Mike Schmidt are gonna take up those other two slots on the bench. As usual though, if you're new here, I always get this comment. I try not to use my bench, at least not early in the game. I, I'm gonna utilize the bench. I'm not gonna go in nine full innings with Mickey Mantle behind the plate, but I like to get that guy, whatever I'm look, whatever position I'm looking to upgrade, I try and get him at least two at-bats, which is usually four, five, sometimes six innings of the game, and then I will take him out. I will let the challenge be there. Look, if someone doesn't, if this dude doesn't take advantage of me having Mickey Mantle behind the plate for four, five, six innings of this game, that's on him. All right, I'm utilizing the bench at some point. We've had out of position videos where I then get an all common bench and there's nothing I can do to even upgrade it. We got lucky with the Phillies bench. I'm using them. And now the pitching staff. The pitcher wheel, baby, here we go. Who are we slinging it with on the mound today? We have to use pitchers who have a primary changeup. One person who should have a primary changeup but doesn't is Cole Hamels on his nose. No hitter card. Primary is a fastball, probably was on that day for the no hitter, but he's always been a primary pitcher card. His signature series last year was a primary. Can't use him today. Felix Hernandez is a guy that we absolutely could use and he has full energy. I'm gonna go through here and see who else even like has a primary changeup. I don't know who, it, Felix and Cole are the only two I can think of. I wish there was like a preset for this in the filters, but I just absolutely can't find one. So many pitchers have a primary slider, curveball, splitter even, but I can't find anyone else with a primary changeup. There's probably gonna be people yelling at me in the comments, cause I'm sure that there is more. But since there's also not a filter option on this, 
I am not gonna sit here and do this all day. So we are just gonna go ahead and rock out with Felix Hernandez on the mound, and I'll use the other four slots uh, to fill energy today. All right, now we get one spin on the pen. We will have Felix Hernandez starting, and to back him up in the bullpen, we're gonna have... Finest cards. It was almost award winners. That would have been pretty good too, though. Blake Trine and Rossell Iglesias, Emmanuel Classe, Paul Seawall, Jonathan Lasagna, Jonathan Lasagna, Aaron Luke, Garrett Whitlock, and then I'm just going to throw Tyler Matzik in there in a the last spot uh, because there is not a final finest pitcher unless I'm blanking on someone or I don't have one in my, probably a missing one in my inventory, but it's whatever. Matzik will be the last guy that I use. Either way, there's got to be another guy, right? I'm blanking on someone. It's whatever. Felix Hernandez, this is the pen. Squad looks nice. I'm taking a lemon juice shot for one of any four stupid things, including losing the game today. Along with winning the game and taking these lemon juice shots, we have to win by multiple runs. Otherwise, we are also going to have to do even dumber stuff in the next episode. So we're spinning the wager wheel for the day. For the day! <laughs> Oh, chat choice and the bomb wings are right next to each other. So look, I'm going to run a poll tomorrow. The day after this video gets uploaded, I will run a poll on this channel. Make sure you look forward on the community tab of my YouTube channel. Vote on that. You will be deciding what I do in the next episode. I know it's going to be this. I already know it's going to be this, but I will throw all a bunch of different options up there for you. You will have this to vote as one of the options. That is, of course, if I can't win this game by more than one run today despite having Mickey Mantle behind the plate here on Legend. And yes, this game will be on Legend. We are in World Series. My rating's about 925 right now, so we could actually get, we might bump into someone who's just outside World Series looking to get in World Series. I'm recording this right now at 4.30 Eastern time, an hour and a half before the new rank season ended. We got that new rank seasons. It came out yesterday. I recorded this right before that one started. So I'm in World Series over 900 on Legend for this one, and it's most likely gonna be sweaty. Let's play. He's got parallel 5 0 Tani Sun. I'm leading off Grippy, so that's gonna be lefty, 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 lefty. And then Tyler O'Neill, lefty on this man Otani here. He said, quit said it says quit sweating so damn hard on his leaderboard. I love it. He's got like the American flag style Evo Shield as his logo. Nice looking uh, unis. I don't know how the fronts look. Let's see them fronts, man. Griff! Ken Griffey Jr. leads it all! <laughs> see ya! This man! PCI check! Ooh, 3 2 on Mickey. That's a great take right there. Chipper Jones on deck. Schmatt! Mickey Mano, our catcher in the gap. We'll have another one in score position. Good start. It's almost like he can hear me. Oh no, that's two. We're forgiven for the runner in score position because we scored on the inning, but we got to take two. Oh no. There we go. And again, just like last time, this is a semi-large. This isn't a full double shot glass like the last one. The last one was like that. The, honestly, that last lemon juice challenge, I'm pretty sure that was a triple shot glass. This is about a one and a half shot glass. It's much closer to your normal size shot glass. Lahayam. Uno. Dos. Numero dos. It's the for I'm winning. It's the first inning and we're two. Two. There's nine. There's eight and a half more innings to go. <laughs> Ugh, I'll be honest, there's a tiny bit in there. It's so gross. <laughs> How do people slam like 15 or 20 of these? I don't know. Oh no. Oh no! Cody Bellinger ties it up. He goes off. Oh, I'm so nervous to like, like, can I, oh, 93 eggs about, can I bury the ball with Mickey Mantle back there? I wanted to bury an off speed. Well, if that's his PCI, his um, eggs available probably should have been a little bit higher than 93. That's not terrible at all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have like a, I have like a lemon juice stain in my mouth right now that's very not pleasant. Nice pitch. Mickey drops it. Can he make the play? Look at Mickey. Bang! Ball four anyway. All right. Well, I got to take a shot for that home run, but I'm trying to do it without pausing the game again. Oh, oh, he paused it. He paused it. I don't know how many I can do. Takes off for second first pitch, and Mickey obviously, obviously, 
Oh no. He knows. He knows. He knows! This isn't good! He knows! Takes off for third! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> this isn't good! Oh, this isn't good! Oh no! Smacked! Alright, Mookie's gotta go get that ball. Vladdy now drops that the other way. He's killing me with these opposite field shots. We've already taken three lemon juice shots into the bottom of the first. We're down by one. We were, <laughs> we scored to lead this thing off and then give up two. We've taken three shots already. Eight innings to go. This is going terribly. This is miserable. We're lucky that wasn't a double. Just can't do it. Oh, no. Oh, boy. This is dangerous now. One and two on Lou Gehrig. I think he's being really patient, looking for, like, wild pitches and pass balls. Ched. And he caught it, might I add. Let's go, Mickey. Get through there, Mookie. Mookie Betts. There's no shot. Tatis just made that throw. You know what's making this even worse for me right now? Knowing that I have to do the bomb hot sauce next if I don't figure it out ASAP. Swings over that changeup. 0-2 on oh, Tani son. Oh no. It's a good hold. This guy's locked. Better be his World Series game. Pick it up, Mickey. Strong though, Mickey. Dang it. No, this is not good. Takes off first pitch, and of course he drops it because the runner took off. Oh, no. We were doomed from the start. The worst possible land. Out of position of catcher is the worst possible spot to land. And we are swimming with sharks. Swings through the slurve. Just go to first. Take that second out. Thank you. Two down. Can we strand him somehow, some way? Kike Hernandez in. Takes off. Yeah, baby, let's go! He tried to, he, he really didn't want to earn it. We're at four shots now, by the way. We're down by two. Ripped! Foul. Crushed foul. Griffey Homer to lead off the game. Bleed. Bleed for extra bases, Ken Griffey Jr. You deserve every little bit of that. Another extra base hit. We can tie it on one hack. Wander Franco, get out, ball! Get out of here! Tied! Tied! Let's go! Bloopy Blast! Here comes Mickey Mantle. He's giving up runs in this game. He's also got a hit. Gas! Whoo, that is a dot! Can't even be mad at it. Chipper Jones in now. Chip? Oh, I was all over, but we were late and we got penalized for it. All right, we tied a ball game, though, baby. Let's go! Rolling now. I'm gonna get the bullpen going too and at some point here soon I'm probably gonna shift things around defensively at this point. He might as well be aggressive because even if he whiffs half the time He's gonna have a chance to be safe Got him. Yep. There it is. See that one that ball was so catchable. I think it was in the zone. I think the pitch was in the zone Mickey Fly ball to left. Ooh, I thought I'm gonna be honest when he started the swing animation I thought it was gone timing might have been good It is four to three. Moonshot, again, of course, because of course. <sighs> oh, honestly, I'm starting to run out of lemon juice. Tries to play against the shift, I respect that. We'll make the play though. He gets one on the homer, we're down by one. What a game, what a game. All right, he was really, really fast to select that splitter though. He went fastball, fastball, and then he was real quick to pick it. So now I know. Good hold, Willie. Oh no, that's a softy. Barely touched it, Blue. Matter of fact, right here with Mookie in, this is where I'm gonna go ahead and make the swap. We are going to bring JT Romuto out for Mookie Betts, and then we'll switch him and Mickey Mantle. Gonna give ourselves a shot. Good hold. Bleed! JT Bleeder. Oh, Cody B, what a play. How dare you? Hits are 4-4, but we trail by one. He's got Lou Gehrig coming up. And I am also right there gonna go to Johnny Luizaga. 
out of the pen. Get Felix out of there. He's getting tattooed in this game. Chad Hundo! Couldn't hold up on that slider. It's 0-2. Now break the barrel in. Oh. It is a one-out triple. Now Salvador Perez in. I'm going to bring the corners in in case he bunts. Ground ball to third. We will throw across. He will not attempt. And now the nine spot, Otani will come up with two outs. We've got to leave him at third. He's got to stay there. I want an in now. Chad, swing happy with that runner on third. Come on, baby. We got to go now. We'll give David Fletcher another at-bat. Rocking out at second base for us. Beat that out, David. Beat it out, David. Oh, nice. I see the juke move there, Christian McCaffrey, but you weren't getting there. Now, Johnny Weisinger came in, pitched well. We are going to go ahead and hit. Let's do Jim Tomey here. Need a solo shot. Ball four. Jim Tomey, big off the bench with a walk. Now the top of the order coming in. Griffey's got two extra base hits. Three and one on Ken Griffey Jr. Wander on deck, homered last time. Ball four. Wander now. Runner in scoring position. Broken bat again. Give me a foul ball. I mean, one foul ball. 102 on the corner. 3-1. Here we go. Breaking ball miss. We are full. Bases are loaded. Two down. Chipper Jones. Let's go. Hanging curve. No. Again. That is my move. Just quick pitch the breaking ball out of nowhere there. I'll warm up Aaron Loop. I'll bring out Emmanuel Classe. We need to keep him at four, like for the game. And I got to take another shot. I have to take two. I can't. Oh, no. One. Oh, this is so gross. I'm like, I have like a lemon juice coat in my mouth. That has been non-stop disgusting the whole time we've been playing. And I only have like two shots left in here, to be honest. And at this point, I'm getting close to yakking, so. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Tries to put the bunt down. Romuto with a delayed jump from behind the plate, and he is safe. Ground ball, shortstop, six, four. Three, nice, David Fletcher. That's why you're here. Front door slider, beautiful. He chops it to third, Chipper will make the play. He gets none in the fifth. We go to the sixth, down by one. Good slide, P, see ya. Now, Lou Gehrig steps in. We have struck him out twice in this game. It really has just been strikeouts and extra base hits in this one. Not much fluky nonsense. There's been a few here and there, but mostly just extra base hits and <laughs> Big swings and misses. Man, I just, just kind of burped and it's just not, it's kind of disgusting. Get out of my face, Lou. That's three Ks on him. We got David Fletcher leading it off. I think at that point there, I'm going to go ahead and hit Brad Miller. Let him play second for Dave now. We need some more pop in this lineup. Another broken bat. Jimmy, Jimmy will pinch it. Jimmy, I'm gonna do Jimmy Rollins now. We'll save Schmidt for the big at bat later. Man, I just, every time I have a bad swing, it's a little weak one right in play. Mookie Betts puts a bunt down. Aaron Loop kicks it. So he tried to run past it, kicked it by mistake, and then turned around and went back to get it. Knew it. Got him. Got him. All right, good at bat there from Salvador Perez. I was a little nervous throwing him a strike. Oh, he wants to get another inning out of Chapman. I'm okay with that. Try and snipe a fastball or a sinker on him. Just put it, just hit it in place. Put it in play. Put it in play. Put him away. Put him away. Aaron Loop out of the pen. Terrible. Come on, Chip. Come on. We gotta shake it off. We got our last. We got four outs left. I've got to figure it out. We've fallen off a cliff. Devin Williams is gonna come out to pitch now. That's a good spot. I am just. I am all over the place. Come on. Tatis. So he's trying to bunt with Tatis. What is it with people in there about bunting lately? And we got Tyler O'Neill leading things off. Screwball in one two. Willie Sargent with a good matchup here though. Will he take? Devin Williams out of the game there. He is. He's going to go to Andrew Miller. So we have to hit here lefty lefty with Stargell. <laughs> Front door slider. 0 2. That's, I mean, what am I supposed to do with that? Real Muto in now. 
Check our swing on the slider. This guy is dicing it up with Andrew Miller. It's a little off the end of the bat, but it jumped off the barrel. It's gonna stay in the yard. Oh, I thought I got a little bit lucky there. Oh, it was a hittable pitch. Something in the back of my head said he's gonna try and blow you away to end this game. And I almost got to it. GG's to my opponent, though. I've been wanting to do the bomb hot sauce for a while now. All seven runs in this game were scored in the first three innings, and then it turned into a snooze fest. And I got exactly enough in here for one more, so how about that? Cheers. <laughs> oh, it's so terrible. <laughs> the bomb sauce it is. I'm curious if that guy made World Series. Let's go check. So that guy's rating was 840, so he's going to be up to 864 now. He's not going to have time to get in. That guy should have been playing a little sooner, man. Come on. Griffey goes parallel one. He had a great game in this video. Wander goes parallel one. He went yard in this one. We hit good in the first half of this game. It really fell off late, but then again, he was also pitching very well with his relief pitchers. He brought Andrew Miller out of the pen there in the ninth. Really, that fastball that we hit, deep, almost, almost got it. That was the only hittable pitch he threw with us. He was dicing when he brought him out. GG's to him. We got an AL East Finest Pack post game. I'm sure I'll rip that open and get some gameplay in with whoever that is. Working on these finest cards. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up down below in the next one. The bomb hot sauce. This is, we're pretty much going to do the same thing. It'll be just like the lemon juice. I'll have to do a chicken wing for every, just, oh my gosh. This is not good.